people, and welcome back to episode 11 of the City of Skylands build guide. And we are looking at the new and improved lake front in Magusia. We have added in a couple of different additions and also done a little bit of terraforming to kind of give this castle a bit more personality. And we've also reworked our zoo. Now, I felt like the zoo we built last episode really didn't do this area justice. It was a little bit cramped into this corner. It just didn't look too great. So I thought we could maybe develop something around the lake shore here. You know, it's a little bit kind of like a swamp. You know, there's kind of overgrowth and stuff. And we've got a little, uh, the little sea life centre here as now. Even though, you know, there is no sea life in a lake. But we are actually connected to the river now. I have uh, created a channel that goes over, uh, under this walking pass. And then over the high, under the highway. And then this continues to flow out through the fields. And then out to sea through a little estuary and out into the main river. So I'm really quite happy with the way that turned out. So now the lake does link straight through into the main river. The zoo has been reformed around this main road. If you remember rightly, it came off this road last episode. And we've now just reworked it here. We've drawn some fencing around it. You've got a little bit of a centre here. There's a cafe and a souvenir shop and bathrooms. A little bit of a plaza behind them. And a little bit of a roundabout to go ahead and explore the rest of the park area. Uh, they have a little bridge across the road which looks pretty sweet. And then you know, have the road going through the middle of the zoo now, either side. Uh, there's a new bus line here that's uh, servicing this new part of town. Um, let's just have a little look at the line details. So if I pop my public transport view over, see we have this new black line that is now serving um, Braithwaite, which is the new area for this town, uh, into this area over here. So that's pretty much that. We also have, and um, there's a little bit of a, a small shopping centre developing around here with uh, the Lazarette Plaza unique building place in here. Uh, this is just at the foot of our fancy residential area and now these guys are leveling up we are getting some really nice looking houses around here now and this place is beginning to look um, as I had planned for it. I'm starting to like this area slowly. Then we also have um, kind of like a commercial business park um, within the lake here. So you can kind of see you know, there's different paths linking this place up to various different routes and walking routes and there's architects here in law firms and there's a couple of bars as well, you know, like a comedy club down here. Um, so there's a few different little buildings that have popped up. And I think it's a nice little kind of office centre. Just a small business park within Bagusia. And then we also have a post office down here as well. And um, I think that's all we did. Pretty sure. And we also added in a little bit of um, a flow interchange here. So these things just keep sort of flowing. There's no traffic lights in them. And um, you can kind of just see how it's built. You have the three main roads, this one, this one, and this one. And then they're all just linked up with various one-way roads. Uh, this one here is two-way. You can see there's a car here and these cars are going down it. Um, so they can carry on in various directions, but this just keeps people flowing in and out. Uh, we also do need to do a little bit of lane management here. So let's do that right now. That's one that I've missed. So people here can only go here. And then there is no turnaround either. So that's just going to keep people moving forward. Okay. So yeah, we have this little thing here. This is just a little bit of a, a processing station for all our timber products. Uh, there's a little bit of a graphical glitch here. I'm not sure what is happening. Um, with this, it seems to be uh, on the border of where the the zone unlock was, but yeah, it's pretty weird. I don't probably want the mods conflicting. Ignore that. Uh, we also have this little dirt road now that is connecting people back into the uh, wooded area. So this place is level five now. And we have all these buildings uh, when they receive a delivery. Uh, we'll be producing the various different resources for us, and that means that we can now actually go ahead and look to start using some of the factories and that is what I wanted to do today 
was start planning for our see the building abandoned over here i think it's because of education yeah it is uh, it's to start planning for our high dense um industrial area we also did a little bit of work on the uh, campus area here as well um added in a couple of parks to mirror each other so you know the students have almost like a central focus we have the two study halls either side of this park and we're starting to see a nice feature develop out of the middle of this area right now so you're going to get a lot of people milling around here it's going to look like a really busy center we've got space for something here as well uh let's see what else we could possibly place here so we do have the trade school fountain and a cafeteria right now as well and um, we'll probably go ahead and place the cafeteria in i think uh, let's go ahead and drop that in opposite here i think actually i think that's going to work slightly better isn't it yeah okay let's have a look what else we have get another one in right behind it no it's just a little a little too big but that's fine and then we do have a trade school fountain as well this would be really cool to get in somewhere i think but um Yeah, we'll find another place that some other time. But this university starts up really nice now. We also have this little thing that we did last episode as well. We also added in um, a bridge. Oh, we are having a death wave over here. Oh, it's because this is empty. Uh, let's supply this island with another cemetery. It only has two, I think. Oh, this guy is empty, so he can begin to refill. Everyone's dying because there's no cemeteries. Do we have a crematorium here? No, we don't. Um, let's go ahead and actually pop that in there and that's gonna um, probably actually level up a lot of our houses to the final level and he's gonna start sending out hearses to pick people up uh, from this little farm over here which we built all the way back in episode 3 now I think which is a long time ago we have a little bridge that now comes over joins this island I have mapped out a bit of a road network here. I'm not sure what I want on this island. Get your suggestions down in the comments, maybe. What what do you, what do you want to see here? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, this continues out down into um, a tunnel that goes under the motorway, and then this snakes out back into the wooded area, uh, and that just gives people, uh, mainly workers, a different route uh, on and off the island. But um, yeah, that should be pretty cool then further down here now we have the start of our high dense industry area uh, and this is what i wanted to work on today i've been playing with a couple of ideas off camera of how i actually want this thing to look uh, and i think we've got something pretty tasty in mind so just off camera i have uh, bought this new tile you can see where the border ends here and then we've just painted the highway over this new canal which is feeding into the river now the canals are really used for using ferries but I think they look quite industrious so that's why I'm going to have them uh, featuring in and around this uh, new part of the map. And then we also have the rail line here as well uh, which is hooked up to this line um, and then it does actually switch into uh, a one way track right here. Um, because we're going to have so many cargo um, exports and imports coming into this area. I want to make sure that the rail structure um, is proper so it can support that amount of rail traffic. So I'm going to go ahead and start from this road here. So this is at the edge of the wooded area. I'm going to go ahead and grab a six lane road and bring it probably about up to there. Now we should be able to uh, cross this canal I believe. Shouldn't be uh, too much of an issue. We're about there I should do. So I think that's just enough clearance under the railway. We'll have to see if any cars actually end up clipping into that road. Uh, and then I'm just going to do the usual. I'm going to come out by five up a small elevation step, which is done with your page up buttons. And I think the D-pad on the consoles, uh, you should be able to do that. And then that's going to be enough clearance for us. Let's come out by 10 and leave the road right there. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this little patch of trees. There we go. Okay. So that is kind of remnants of what I've been playing with. 
Uh, so I think the way I want to do this is to grab uh, a small roundabout. Probably one here. And then immediately here as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete these roads. These two connecting ones. And then I'm going to drag my bridge right over the top of this. So I want this area to be quite stacked um, in terms of how it looks. But we'll, we'll see how it does. Let's get rid of this one as well. So, you know, it's going to be quite concrete, quite industrious. There's going to be, you know, big bridges like this flowing over that can handle a lot of traffic. Uh, and big arteries as well flowing through this road. So I don't really want that many um, ent entrances and exits off that road because it has to be uh, fairly fully free flowing. Okay, so let's kind of plan out uh, how I want these cargo train terminals to sit. Uh, I definitely want them to have a hook up uh, to this main road. They're not going to be left by themselves. Let's come out by 10 uh, and then bend it out by 10 as well so we get a nice smooth curve. And then I'm going to switch back to my main road. And again, we're going to go out by 5 and then down. And then possibly another small roundabout here. I think that should work quite nicely. Yeah, and I think I'm actually just going to hook this up with one way roads. Let's come ahead into here. And then switch those directions up, delete the middle one. So now we'll have a continual flow on and off this main road, um, which is going to flow down into our highway. Have I built that on an angle? No, I haven't, have I? No, that's straight. Um, okay, so what's kind of plan out? I think I'm going to switch to our medium industry road for this. And then let's come out to, say, about here. And let's see if we can actually place this. Okay, so we're a little bit. Let's go ahead and place it there. And then I will draw this in manually. Now let's come out here by another. I don't want to start to road guidelines. Or to uh, anything rather. Let's bring this up to about here and then turn all on, super. So that is going to see our first uh, cargo train hub hooked up to the line uh, and these things uh, will carry goods and raw materials uh, in and out of the city. So if you have a surplus of any of the raw materials you're producing, if they're not being told to store in a warehouse uh, or any of these storage facility buildings. Uh, then they will uh, actually be exported out of the city by three different ways. Uh, that'll either be your car your cargo train hubs, uh, your cargo ferry hubs, um, by road or by air. Well, obviously we don't have the cargo airport just yet, uh, which will probably reside over here eventually, I would imagine. Uh, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this off, um, because right now uh, this railway line is not hooked up to anything. It is only hooked up to this rail station here, and this one here. So there kind of really is uh, no need for it. We do actually have a couple of broken lines. Um, this is all hooked up, isn't it? I'm not sure why it's not uh, letting me create the line. Oh, have I used the one ways? No. Am I missing something here? I want to create a line here. And then bring it down here. Yeah, for some reason I can't add a stop. And I'm not sure why. Everything else is fine. The line does hook up here. We had a train here last episode. So I'm not sure why that has now decided to stop working. We also had it in um, a slip lane 
uh, from the freeway here. So obviously last episode we moved the entrance to the farm uh, through this little woodland dirt track. Uh, and this now flows out onto the highway. Only in one direction. Uh, and they can't only just get on. Uh, so it's a nice little sort of way for them they are using it. Okay, well, train lines aren't working there for some reason. But I'm going to turn that off uh, just because I don't want that to be on when it doesn't need to be. Okay, let's think about some little roads here. So let's have a road that comes all the way down here. Now I think I want to put in a post office sorting depot here. I might not have enough room. No, it looks as though we're just a couple of blocks, a couple of zones shy from actually getting that. So let's come out by just a touch more. And let's try that again. Okay, actually there, let's knock it back a touch further. I really wish there was a way that you could almost like place a marker within cities. There we go. And uh, let's grab some power for this guy. Okay, it's just a nice temporary line. So the post sort of facility, let's have a little discussion about posts and post offices. So large trucks collect the mail from the local post office and takes it to the post sorting facilities. There, the mail is sorted out into batches for delivery to the addressee locally and outside of the city. It costs $400 a week to maintain and $25,000 to place. They also directly correspond with the post offices. So posts will come into the city and be sorted through the facility and then distributed to the numerous post offices that you have around the city. A good tip for placing these is to kind of place one per village, as you would imagine in real life. So we can see kind of Braithwaite has one by itself over here. Um, there's one by the lake and servicing these guys. Uh, there's a smaller one over in the little kind of town district area we have over here. Uh, nice little cute feel. Um, and then there's also one over here as well, right there. Uh, and the corner of them actually makes them perfect for street corners. Um, you know, these things will work really nicely for also help decorating your areas. And uh, just don't forget to keep placing them every time you start a new town or a new build. Um, you know, place in a post office because every town should have one. So that's going to allow a post uh, to become a thing within the city. Uh, which is great, but right now these people on these roundabouts do not have a way uh, back on to this main road. Okay, so I've kind of been playing with a couple of ideas off camera here, and I think I know what I want to go for. Um, I want to kind of keep the entrance and exits, uh, exits up to this place quite rigid and square. So I think we're going to come out with a little bit of... Um, kind of a quirky little design that uh, I hope will work quite nicely. I'll have it come right alongside here. Oh, it's a shame that won't snap there. Let's knock it back a little bit. Probably to about there. There. Let me get a nice smooth curb up onto the bridge. And that is uh, going to be rather nice. I actually think... Let's delete that bit and then bring it up by the same level as the bridge. And then that should look ever so slightly smarter, I think. Uh, let's delete this middle section and then bring that down in one smooth curve. And then change that direction. And that's going to give people a way back on. So that should be rather nice. Okay. Cool. Let's have a look at somewhere else. Let's delete that road for right now because I want to mirror this um, to the point. And let's see how long this one was. 
That's one one twelve. There we go. And then out to this point. I uh, know we're a little bit short there, actually, aren't we? There we go. Okay, and then this needs to be the opposite way on. So these long, um, rigid one-way roads, so I just need to bring that up to the, uh, the same height, don't I? Uh, these long, rigid roads are going to be perfect for One moment, let me sort this out because it's going to do my head in if I don't do it Out to there And there I'm going to straighten that up, I'm not going to spend all day doing it because that will annoy you guys Um. Okay, so we've got a kind of similar design going on here. Again, that isn't symmetrical, but I will sort that off camera rather than messing with it now. Um, so let's go ahead and hold this back up. So the flow that these one-way systems are going to create is going to allow people just to constantly move. You know, there's always long stretches of road for them to move through. Uh, and these are fairly slow roads as well, apart from this main one, which I think will be... Um, the fastest road, yeah. So this is going to be a 60 road. Um, another thing I'm actually going to change that um, down here. Just so they can speed up on that section. And then slow down when traffic merges. And then they can come on and off the estate as they please. So I think I do also want... Um, a little bit of a another cargo train station in here as well. Let's go ahead and grab the one-way road, uh, one-way track even. There. So I want these cargo stations to be back to back. Now there is one neat little trick you can do. If you draw in the track where you want this track to be when you place the cargo train hub, Come back into your roads, and grab a section of road, and then from this first one we placed, if we draw a road back to the road where it connects, we can see that that was 360 to build. So do the same on this side, so 360, uh, and then just uh, bring this out to where you want it to snap to. Uh, then delete all this that you just placed, and then into your trains, Grab the cargo hub, and that is going to slot in perfectly uh, right alongside your previous one. And that's going to give you a nice uh, industrious feel, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and hook this road back up. I think that's just going to make a little bit of a nice smooth curve on that. So trains are going to be flowing in through here, which I think will look really sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this guy again hook him up and then he can also connect to here as well I think I'll actually have that as um a little bit of a curve road just to break up the monotonous of the grid um, and then I definitely want a road that's going to follow that train track somewhere and then you can see within these spaces here uh, you're going to have different bits of room for zoning or unique buildings. Let's see what else we can place here. Maybe let's have a look at our factories finally. I said we'd do some of that today. So we have the furniture factory, which um, will actually work very well here. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, a bakery. I don't think this is really the place for a bakery. Um, printing press. This actually fits in perfectly. So again, you know, you can see these are going to be taking all the goods that we produce around the city and turning them into uh, goods, which is represented by the diamond icon. We have the lemonade factory. This thing is massive. And then we have a soft paper factory. Again, this thing is one of the bigger ones. Uh, we can definitely place this here somewhere, I think. You know, there's a nice big open slot for this. 
uh, right about here and it looked really cool uh, to come in. So for this to work we need crops, paper, oil and oh, petroleum and plastics. Uh, we are not producing petroleum and plastics just yet but your city will import them if you don't have them. And we also have the modular house factory as well. I think this thing would look uh, really cool right up alongside the highway uh, as people come in and out. That would be pretty sweet. Okay. No, actually, I'm not going to put the road back through there. Um, we will connect them up elsewhere so these guys can have a road through to here. Um, and then probably, I imagine, one through there as well. And then one through the middle. So I'm just creating some uh, zoning for my grids. Okay, so that is a really nice, healthy start to uh, a, a heavy industrial area. Um, this probably will expand onto this side of the railway. You can see where this rail is going off to eventually connect up and over here. But this is going to be uh, a decent little start. Let's plop in a couple of warehouses. I think we get the larger one in here or the medium one. We can have the medium. Place that in. Um, now I'm going to get this to store uh, petroleum. Have a nice oil store right here. And you just start to see as you place these buildings, you'll really start to flesh this area out and make it look uh, really highly uh, industrial. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we have to place. So in these modder packs here, we've got some really... Uh, some pretty cool stuff. We have a semiconductor plant here. We also have a software development studio. A TV station. There's a lot of different buildings uh, that you can actually place within these areas. don't think none of those are quite suitable for what I'm after. Let's have a look what we have. I don't think there's anything too industrial within these things anyway. Yeah, and all this stuff I want to save for our downtown anyway. Okay. So it's not a bad start at all, I don't think. This guy does need water as well. Let's go ahead and water up uh, the rest of this place. And then obviously there is options for expansion uh, off this roundabout as well. Uh, let's go ahead and actually plan in um, a little bit of this uh, coastal network. As I imagine this is where we will be having our cargo ferry port. Let's come out by 10, and that by 10 again, and then down. And then down. So just keep pointing out where you want your stuff to flow and everything will be fine. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to finish off the episode by placing uh, one of those big ass factories in. So if you can't get past the road, just delete it and then go back through and redraw it in. And then it will just create a new column and a new pillar elsewhere within the bridge so your roads can flow under um, with relative ease. So I'm going to bring that up there and then bring this one to probably... There, so you know, I want lots of roads under these bridges. It's going to be quite this is what I mean by stacked and industrial. So, the lemonade factory would go here. What do we need for lemonade? We need crops and glass to produce lemonade. I guess that makes sense. Uh, and that 
is going to be perfect. So we are producing lots of crops, however one thing we are not producing um, is glass. So in order for me to actually um, make this thing work, it's going to need crops and glass. Oh, here comes one of the post trucks. It's going to be really cool to see uh, all this area. I do actually need to go ahead and turn these lights off. There we go. So let's just get a little brief look at this interchange. Everyone just disperses around their own lanes. Really simple. You can straighten this bit up with Move It if you are playing with it, but uh, for those vanilla people, um, this is just a simple snap job. Uh, another academic year report. So you can just see how everyone flows through it. It's just a nice change from a roundabout, you know. Uh, yeah, so it's up to you what you want to do with that. Uh, I do want to turn this off. Goodbye. Don't want that to be running until we connect up to the outside. So you can see now that it is getting crops delivered into it. So I'm going to build the Sky Warehouse. Uh, let's come into our warehouses. Small warehouse. Would be nice to have one there, I suppose. Uh, and this guy is going to store us some glass. And there we go. So, as glass comes in, this guy's going to start producing, and then he'll start producing goods for us. And already, we have a pretty sweet industrial area. I think I'm going to leave this episode there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, I think I'm going to do a couple of episodes back to back today, so don't worry if I don't see your comments. Uh, or don't implement your comments over the next couple of episodes, um, because I just want to kind of uh, get some stuff done. I also realised that we were supposed to do a city tour at episode 10, and this is now episode 11, so episode 12 will more than likely uh, be a city tour uh, of what we've built so far. Uh, so that should be nice to kind of recap on what we've done. But this new industry area is looking really sweet. I'm really happy with the way that the buildings are so packed closely into this highway. You know, as, as you're driving along, you're met with, you know, these big kind of industrial looking buildings. Uh, this area is going to be really sweet when we get some more stuff unlocked. Uh, and then eventually see trains flowing in and out of it, exporting all our raw goods. Uh, when we get to it, well, that's going to be really, uh, really fun to play with. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like on the video is very much appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, then please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Uh, yeah, I hope. I'm not going to have a little compilation montage um, as we exit this episode, unfortunately, because my uh, cinematic camera mod appears to have stopped working. So I'm going to have to go and you'll have to make do uh, with this kind of built-in cinematic mod. But it's a nice little flashback of some of the areas of the city, I think, isn't it? Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.